What is up guys? I am here in Louisiana with a couple of local guys, Brennan and Connor. And we're gonna get out and flip some boards today and hopefully see some snakes. But uh, we're in an area I've never explored. I'm super excited to see what we can turn up. Um, I'll keep you guys posted how this goes. Feels good. Three of them, I guess. the money. Yeah, I like the look of this one. These are a lot drier than the other ones at least. Yeah. There you go. Rainbow! <laughs> oh. Well, this man right here has done us right. This is a lifer for you, right, Connor? Yeah, that's a lifer. Lifer for Connor. And probably like the, the three millionth these two guys have seen here. <laughs> there we go. Rainbow snake. First snake in Louisiana. That honestly... That might be my first ever snake in Louisiana. I don't know. That's a good one. Yep. This one is more like the one. So these are the, this is the money spot. Um, you get the most sun. Yeah. Just don't step on them, P-Man. I know. Alrighty. What is that, Ampuma? Rainbow! Ampuma. Oh, yes. What's Second one. Brennan, why are there rainbow snakes everywhere? Look at these boards that float up. Alright. Got a well embedded one here. Yes. Nothing. Well, they're both hiding their heads, but <laughs> a pair of rainbow snakes at our first stop in Louisiana. Insane. Bring your head up. No? No? Oh, there we go. Kinda. They'll flatten out. I don't see what snakes do. I've never seen these do this before. They're normally just, I guess I've never seen them when they're cold. They're always warm and foraging, but pretty interesting behavior. I would love to see one out. Rainbow snake. They never cease to impress. What a beautiful snake. Secretive. But uh, as you guys have seen from today, these guys have them figured out. And uh, big thanks to them for letting me tag along today. And uh, hopefully the rest of the trip goes, I can't expect it to go this well, but you know, we'll see some snakes, I hope, if this is any indication. This one is the larger one. This one is a female. Got a uh, shorter tail than the little male, but she's an adult breeding size. And uh, we'll probably be looking to mate here soon. A little bit beat up. Some uh, water blisters here from hibernating in a wet environment. But otherwise, beautiful snake. Look at that belly. All right, guys. Here's one last look at these two rainbow snakes before we let them go. We're going to put them back on their boards and probably keep herping. Well, that was awesome. Had an interesting encounter with the cops a few minutes after that. But... Um, yeah, what a way to start our trip to Louisiana. Oh my goodness. That was awesome. Just awesome. Anyways, uh, we've still got the rest of the day ahead of us, but we're probably just going to go meet up with the buddy that we're staying with and relax um, for the rest of the day. We've got the whole week. We're here for a week pretty much. So uh, no rush to really herp anymore today. We got what we were hoping to see and uh, we're going to go relax and we'll probably pick up the herping either tomorrow or the next day. So I'll keep you guys posted. We might go out tonight. I don't know. I'll just, uh, we're going to play by ear, so you'll see me when you see me. Our first herp here at base camp, a little ground skink. This is not a snake. Hello, friend. <laughs> some 
backwards. Nice little stack. Geckos, a lot of geckos, oh my goodness. Look at them all, a wasp. Oh my goodness, the geckos. And bottom layer. Oh, it's not the bottom layer, oh, snake. Oh, crap, where'd he go? Oh, dang it. There he is, ribbon snake. Here is the little house gecko. I grabbed one of them. I forget the species on these, but I'll put it in, in a text. And a little ribbon snake. I guess this is a Gulf Coast ribbon snake. Probably maybe a, maybe an Eastern, or not an Eastern, maybe a Western. Probably Gulf Coast though. Well, is there a particular reason you're trying to eat your own tail, buddy? Goodness. <laughs> wow. Well, after his attempt to eat himself, he is now shedding in my hand. Pretty cool. A lot of the snakes you'll find this time of year, when you pick them up, they start shedding their skin because uh, they're in that stage. A lot of snakes will come out of hibernation and shed straight away, pretty much. A nice board with barnacles on it. Nothing. I keep finding boards. But rarely do they have snakes. A Gulf Coast toad. That's a new species for the trip. Here's another look at this Gulf Coast toad. These guys are pretty common all along the Gulf Coast states, Louisiana uh, to Texas, and uh, even I think into Mississippi and maybe Alabama. But uh, pretty common around these parts. I'm sure we'll see more of this trip. But just gonna get a whoa, quick photo of him and let him go. Reed is here now. We're digging through boards. <sighs> Look at the skincella. Gecko. There's so many lizards in here. Yet no snakes. Look at that. Got him. You want this one? Yeah. Look at that guy. Him? Yeah. Towards me or away? Towards. Oh, a mole cricket! What? Oh, is that what the, the thing that you're. No, those are the wrong size. redfish of the day that I've caught. Third one total. Good morning from the swamp everyone. It is our third day in New Orleans. Uh, yesterday we mostly just hung out, partied, went downtown, all the fun stuff here. And uh, today we're gonna get back to herping and uh, we're gonna go walk around in some habitat too when we turn up. Nice and sunburned from fishing. Anyways we got a nice cloud cover today. Feels good. It's about 75 degrees and cloudy. I love this weather, so let's see what we can find. All right, guys, here's our first herb of the day. I'm not sure what species we're in range of, but this is a little dwarf salamander. I'll look it up and uh, put the actual name below, but pretty cool first herb of the day. I was not expecting to see this guy here. We're in some nice managed pine forest here, flipping and uh, walking around, hoping to see some snakes, but first herb of the day. Another dwarf salamander. This guy's in C2. Also, Reed flipped a slimy, but I forgot to record it. Well, it's just kind of pissing down rain. Oh, there he goes. He went into this bush. Well, here's our first snake of the day. A little ribbon snake just basking in the rain. Grumpy boy. He's not little either, actually. Kind of a big ribbon snake. I thought he was a garter at first. But we're on the board for snakes today. Mm. 
another ribbon snake here in this bush. Let's see if I can grab him. Got him. Ow, and then I got poked in the ass. Look at that. Okay. Well, really dull little ribbon snake. Today's been pretty slow, but we've been had a we kind of had a hard time finding spots that didn't look like we get murdered at them. So, and the Gulf Coast Coast. relatively, relatively nice ribbon snake, the brownest of ribbon snakes. Oh. All right, we got these boards. Probably pretty high. Might want to start with like this thing. Whatever this metal thing right here is. I haven't been there very long. Get that off of it. Whoa! He went in the water. Alright. See him? Alright guys, we're out here shining ditches and I just spotted our first herp of the night. There's a mud turtle right here. We're gonna grab him. This is probably a Mississippi mud, but let's find out. All right, guys, well, he's being shy, but first herp of the night. Um, we're probably gonna see if he'll come out of his shell a little bit, and if not, leave him alone. But the main thing we're hoping to see tonight is an Amphiuma, since uh, I got distracted when we found the other ones and did not really catch them because we had rainbow snakes. So, anyways, Mississippi Mud Turtle. That's a lifer for me. Yeah. All right, guys, next turtle of the night, there's a common snapping turtle right here. I'm gonna grab him for you real quick. Tell me when you're ready. Go for it. Common snapping turtle, probably, I guess it's the first, look at that wound right there. Yeah. This guy's been torn in, that's probably gator. Seriously. Yeah, it's gator teeth. He's got a good bet. puncture here too. See on this side? Yep. Wrap around. Alrighty, well, turtles are definitely out tonight, so let's see if we can get a snake or an amphiuma. There you go. Go slurp some crawfish. Alright guys, just netted our next turtle. I think it's another mud. But how we go. Reed got one. Nice. This is the biggest one of the trip so far. Stingray. Catch of the day, giant redfish. We're gonna let this guy go. <laughs> he got it. <laughs>